Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I decided to do another makeup video because I'm on a roll with these makeup videos. And I decided I'm going to um, just paint or put makeup on my sisters. And um, hopefully you could just ignore the background. I know there's like a buzzing noise, it's fine, just ignore it. And um, so today, sister number one, Jalen. <laughs> And uh, you might recognize her from that sister tag a long time ago. Um, and I'm gonna do her makeup my way, just so she could see how different it is from her way. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole nine yards, or is it 10? I don't remember how many. Is it nine or 10? Full nine yards? Like when people are like, I'm gonna go the full nine yards, is it nine or 10? Go full 10 I've yards. never heard that. Anyways, it's, it's nine, I think. So, what eyeshadow look do you want me to do? Oh. Um, that's the look I'm going to try to do. <laughs> which is so I never do that stuff. I always do cut creases and halos. So, woohoo for trying. So, I guess I'm going to use this one. Yeah. Okay, let's get started then. So, the first thing I'm going to do is use Jones. Moani Prep Plus Brighten Rose Face Oil. Oh, great. And we're gonna put this all over her face. This is so much fun. Now that her uh, face is with the oil stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and primer face using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. And I'm mostly gonna be focusing it on her eyebrow area because I'm gonna do her eyebrows first. And I think it's kind of pointless to just go ahead and put primer all over her face when I'm only gonna be working on her eyebrows first. The next thing I'm gonna do is do her eyebrows my way and she's not gonna fix it. Um, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in the shade Light Brown and I'm gonna go ahead and do her eyebrows. Now that her eyebrows are done, I'm going to conceal the bottom of her eyebrows using concealer and I'm also going to conceal the top of her eyebrows using her foundation. Stop touching me with your- Oh my Ew. god! Stop touching me with your- You just smacked him! <laughs> oh my god! are done I'm gonna go ahead and prep her eyelids with the NYX HD high definition eyeshadow base okay so now that her eyelids are primed I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade right here oh you can't see it this shade right here using <laughs> using my Morphe M513 brush I'm going to put this all over her eyelid. Now that her um, eyelid's covered in like that look, I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe M518 brush and go in with this shade right here. Now that her eye look is somewhat done, I'm going to go ahead and clean up her um, eyeshadow. But now that her eyes are cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and use liner, mascara, and falsies. For eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX, that's the point, um, eyeliner in the shade Hella Fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 
that John has her falsies on and liner. You don't talk much in this video. Do you want to even say something, John? No. <clears throat> We're going to now prime her face using, again, the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. So, the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is use my Milani Conceal Most Perfect 201 Foundation Plus Concealer. In the same shade I have it, whoa! In the shade 6, which is Sand Beige. I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over her um, face. So now that her foundation is done, I'm going to go ahead and go back with the Tarte Cape Shape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey, and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit under her eyes. Just a little bit, because again, like I said in my last video, Tarte Cape Shape is really full coverage. So a little goes a long way. So now that she has foundation and concealer, I'm going to go ahead and bake under her eyes and um, below her jawline. Yes, I realize I made a mistake. I meant to say cheekbones, not jawline. But y'all, y'all get what I'm saying. So it doesn't matter. We're good. For this part, because I'm gonna go ahead and use contour as well. And for contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Milani um, Conceal Plus Perfect Shine Proof Powder in the shade Deep, which is shade number nine. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this for contour. And for baking, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Airspun Loose Face Powder and her brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use ColourPop in um, ColourPop F7. So while she bakes, I'm gonna go ahead and put blush on her face while I bake. <laughs> this is a Milani uh, blood, Bake Powdered Blush in the shade 2, which is Rose Doro. And it looks like this. Okay. Kind of has like a shimmer. And I'm going to go ahead and also use her ColourPop brush. No. And I don't know what number this is. I really wish I did. Yeah, it's on the one But it, I'm pretty sure it's just blush brush. I'm so sure to put So, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So now that I have put blush on her, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the baking, again using the ColourPop F7 brush. So one of the last things I'm going to go ahead and do is put highlight using my Anastasia Riley Hills Glow Kit. And since she has more of a brownie bronze shade, I'm going to go ahead and again, you already know my thing's cracked. I'm gonna go ahead and use Amber Gold, which is this middle shade right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all of her face. <laughs> Lastly, I'm gonna put, or one of the last things I'm gonna do again, is put a gloss on, fun gloss. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Becca X Chrissy Teigen gloss. Can I buy Chrissy Teigen? Whatever. Look, it's like the. Oh, this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So finally, the last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and use my Milani Make It Last setting spray with 16 hour wear. I'm gonna go ahead and set her face. Without further ado, this is look number one, um, requested by Jalen, and let's get a little, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do montage time, montage time! <laughs> <laughs> no, take it off, I'm sorry, that was so- <laughs> So, now that Jalen is done, she's in the background, we're going to go to number, sister number two, and this is Alma. Oh, and we're going to. <laughs> she barely spoke in the and when it was her turn. Um, 
you're talking right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a um, completely different type of thing. <laughs> I'm gonna set to go bold. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go bold. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and mostly use the Morphe X James Charles palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and do mostly blues, which is like that whole area. And we're gonna just go ahead and go for it, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and use the Morphe X James Charles palette. And we're gonna be doing a blue cut crease because I've never done blue. But cut crease. So we're gonna go ahead and do a blue look. You'll like it. So I'm gonna, <laughs> we can't get comfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by priming her eyebrows with e.l.f. Mineral Fused Face Primer again. <laughs> Now that we've primed her area, I'm gonna go ahead and do her eyebrows. So with to do her eyebrows, of course, I'm gonna do the same thing. Use a spoolie, uh, use an ankle brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. We all have the same product. The e.l.f. Lock On Lime Liner in the shade Espresso. Is that mine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use it because everything is crazy. Here you do it. I'm all set. Because Elma has already like naturally dark brows, like this eyebrow, I haven't even filled in and she, like she has naturally dark eyebrows, must be nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just like, I barely fill in, but I still make it like noticeable on which one I did. But she naturally does have thick eyebrows. Dark, I mean, so, yeah. <laughs> Now I'm going to clean her eyebrows. Yeah, let's get them so few. <laughs> <laughs> Only my Spanish speaking people understood that. I'm keeping that in. I'm gonna use her Garnier Skin Active BB Cream 5 in 1 Miracle Skin Perfector for oily slash combo skin in the shade medium slash deep. Looks like this. I probably need a light one. Uh -huh. yeah. It fits you pretty good. Yeah. For eye primer, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer. It looks like this. Using my Morphe M513 brush, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this blue right here, this one, which is Playground. We're gonna go ahead and use Playground right there. And we're gonna put this all over her crease. Yes, I realized I did this motion for crease. No, that's not, not what I meant. I meant like crease. I don't know why I did it here though, but you get what I'm saying, so. So now that we have a good blue on her eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Morphe M518 brush, and we're gonna go ahead and go into this shade right here, which is Cola, and we're gonna go ahead and put that on somewhat of the crease and also the outer part of her eye to blend it in. I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna cut the crease and I'm gonna end somewhat halfway in her eyes because it's gonna be a fade in because we love I, I love doing those so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and to cut the crease I'm gonna use a concealer um, the Tarte Tape Shape Contour Concealer in the shade light medium and regular concealer brush to cut the crease <laughs> her crease is cut I'm going to set it with the white shade which is flashback and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my pinky because to get exactly like exact so yeah so 
now that Elma has white on her crease area, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this blue right here, this shimmer blue, which is the shade Hello. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that kind of after the cut crease, so kind of halfway of her eye, like exactly halfway. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and use my pinky. So now that the shimmer is placed, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back with this shade right here, which, oh my goodness, this one right here, which is Cola, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that <laughs> in this part of her eye, the outer, por outer portion, and blend it in. we are going to clean her eyeshadow up so now that her eyes are done I'm gonna go ahead and go with eyeliner I'm gonna do some wings and I'm going to be using the NYX that's the point eyeliner in the shade hella fine So now that her eyeliner is done, we're going to go ahead and do um, mascara, curl lashes, and falsies. Okay, so now that Alma has her falsies on and she looks very really pretty, we're going to go ahead and prime her face using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer again, and we're going to prep her face for foundation. <laughs> So now that we've primed her face, I'm gonna go back in with the Garnier Skin Active BB Cream 5-1 Miracle Skin Perfector for Oily Combo Skin, deep, Medium Deep, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on her face. So I accidentally forgot for some reason um, to conceal under the eye, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that using Tarte Tape Shape Cardboard Concealer in the shade Light Medium. to set her pace now. So now that her face is set and looking very really smooth, we're going to bronze her face using the Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade Queensland and also use a bronzing brush. Why am I so illiterate? You know, um, I meant to say bronzer brush. Where's the bronzing brush? I'm pretty sure it's just bronzer brush instead of bronzing brush. Y'all always know what I mean, but like, I'm after editing this video, I could see how illiterate I am. That's not good. Ugh, makes me cringe. One of the last things we're going to do is use highlight. So for this we're going to use a Wet n Wild highlighting powder in the shade Precious Petals and we're going to highlight her face. So the last thing I'm going to do So the last thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put so the last thing I'm going to go ahead and do is use the Becca Coral by Chrissy Teigen Coral X Jalen, shut up! <laughs> One of the last things we're gonna do is go ahead and put lip gloss by Becca X Chrissy Teigen. I'm gonna use this lighter shade, not the one I used on Jalen, a lighter shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on her. Finally, the last thing I'm going to go ahead and do is use my Milani Make It Last setting spray for 16 hour wear and going to set her face. So this is going to include look number two, which is a blue cut crease fade in. So these two are the looks I did on Elma and Jayman. They look very nice, very pretty. I thank them for their patience. And I hope you guys liked it. So, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you did like it, please make sure to subscribe. 
and um, like always, stay tuned. Bye!